Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn the postulates of special theory of relativity. Two postulates underlie the special theory of relativity. First postulate is known as the principle of relativity. First postulate of Einstein's special theory of relativity is the principle of relativity. The laws of physics are the same in all inertial frames of reference. It follows from the absence of a, this postulate follows from the absence of a universal frame of reference. It was the results of Michelson Morley experiment. There is no absolute or fixed frame of reference. If the laws of physics took different forms for different moving observers, then it would be possible to form different equations of motion for different moving observers. Then we can, then it is able to find the nature of an observer's motion. But such a distinction does not exist. The principle of relativity expresses this fact. That is the principle of relativity expresses the fact the laws of physics are the same in all inertial frames of reference. The first postulate of special theory of relativity is also known as Galilean hypothesis of invariance or Newtonian principle of relativity. Now we move on to the second postulate. The second postulate is the result based on many experiment. Second postulate is the postulate of constancy of velocity of light. Constancy of velocity of light. The velocity of light in free space has the same value in all inertial frames of reference. The second postulate is the velocity of light in free space has the same value in all inertial frames of reference. Its value is 2.998 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second up to 4 significant figures. This it is clear that the Einstein special theory of relativity is valid only for inertial frames of reference. That is the frame of reference in which Newton's first law of motion holds good. The two postulates of special theory of relativity are principle of relativity and the second postulate is constancy of velocity of light. Thank you.